As you've just learned in our first segment, when a dentist performs root canal therapy, they treat the nerve space, or more specifically the pulp chamber and root canals, that lie inside the tooth. Of course, the obvious question then becomes, why does this space require treatment? On a case-by-case -case basis, the precise reason why root canal therapy must be performed varies, and on this page here on DentalPictureShow.com, we describe some possible scenarios where it may be indicated. For our video here, however, we're just going to say that it's used to treat teeth whose pulp tissue either has or ultimately will die. With that definition, and if we just examine the case where a tooth nerve actually has died, then it's fairly easy to understand why root canal treatment becomes mandatory if the tooth is going to be saved. With the death of a tooth, a situation develops where the hollow space previously occupied by the tooth's pulp tissue can now become a residence for bacteria and assorted contaminants. Consider this. When bacteria and debris invade our body, like through a cut in our skin, our immune system immediately kicks into gear. And as a part of this response, it sends white blood cells by way of our blood and lymphatic systems to the affected area so they can challenge and dispose of the invading foreign objects. Live pulp tissue does contain blood and lymph vessels, but once this tissue has died off, the nerve space inside the tooth is simply a hollow cavern. It's a space where bacteria and debris can't accumulate, but there's no system the lymphatic or blood vessels to efficiently service the immune system's needs so it can, in normal fashion, effectively combat and dispose of the mess. The result is a situation where, at minimum, the tissue surrounding the tooth will be chronically irritated due to the persistent leakage of contaminants from within the tooth, or, at much worse, one where the person experiences an acute flare-up with pain and swelling because the person's immune system can't keep the bacteria inside the tooth in check. So, at least in part, you can think of root canal therapy as a treatment that provides a way of cleaning and disinfecting the hollow space inside a tooth. In short, it assists your body in doing what otherwise it's unable to do on its own.